Hello and welcome back. Finally, first stream of the new year. You may have seen it. Correct. 20 lands. It's going to be pretty exciting. Climbing up from gold, so nothing too special. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much with this list, but I'm pretty excited about it. So we'll just jump right into it before we get into the matches here. A little, little bit lower curve for sure. Definitely. Reckless Stormseeker. I'm pretty happy with that. Haste has been pretty important, seems pretty important. So I think Reckless Stormseeker here is going to do pretty good. It's gone pretty well so far, the times I've used it. But especially when you get the Storm Charge Slasher there, giving plus 2 plus 0. I mean, that's pretty good. Haste as well. But the all-important Trample, if you've got the Slasher out. So getting Trample on, say, a big Marauding Raptor, Trample on a Ripjaw, maybe the Regisaur Alpha itself, it's going to be pretty helpful, I think. And if you get multiples, I mean, that's all right, too. You might play a couple of dinos in a turn. You can give them both haste. Maybe you don't have a Regisaur Alpha, but it's never a problem with this creature because it isn't legendary. You can happily see more than one. Other than that, two Abundant Harvest, and then three Commune for five sort of commune effects abundant harvest quite a bit different but we got that there usually recently it's been for commune with dinosaurs oh happy new year brian how's it going oh yes hopefully hopefully we can get gishath to pop off this year that would definitely be pretty fantastic for sure uh yeah Marauding Raptor. We don't have the three Amigos here, as you can see. I decided to take a Drover just to make a little bit more space. And I think for now, with the curve being so low, a lot of three drops, Marauding Huntmaster is probably going to be enough. And then Heroic Intervention. Yeah, pretty crazy. A lot of targeted removal. I could go with something like Blossoming Defense, uh, Snakeskin Veil. Because, I mean, if it's a single target, you might as well use that. But this, of course, is going to help, well, being instant speed. It's got to be instant speed. But the board wipes, the wrath, all that stuff, especially if they were going to target, answer, remove two dinos at least. That's going to be good. Starting off with that, I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. And with the lower curve, there is a chance that we can more often have two up for heroic intervention. So, yeah, should be pretty good. Rampaging Frost on, of course, keeping with the low curve theme. Stop that life gain. Death Gorge Scavenger. There is a few more spells with heroic abundant harvest. So I think Death Gorge, at least for ourselves, there's going to be some non-creatures for it to eat, but... Also on the opponent side, is it Phoenix? Lots of stuff with non-creature spells in the graveyard, so that's nice starting out with it, game one. Ripjaw Raptor, of course, just fantastic. Nothing much to say about that guy. Regisaur Alpha, as always, my favorite, a full playset. A couple Galta. I was using three for a little while, but dropped it down to two just to make a little bit more space for other stuff oh i just noticed i had one drover hiding so we have the full three amigos that is good mana base nothing too crazy upped unclaimed territory to two usually i had it at one recently but nah the rockfall veils the rootbound crags i was just drawing too many of well, both those combinations. So for turn two, I wouldn't have two mana up. I'd go maybe Rootbound Craig turn one. Wouldn't draw land and I'd be forced to play Rockfall Veil. Tapped. Just not a good time at all. So I switched it up, made changes for other lands that do come into play untapped. So things will go a little bit smoother, hopefully. And then Shaper's Sanctuary. Yes, again, with all that targeted removal that heroic intervention may help with we've got shaper sanctuary always nice having another turn one play pretty fantastic and if it is a lot of targeted removal especially something like mayhem devil where they're going to stack a lot of those triggers to maybe finish off something we could we'll probably will be drawing a bunch of cards with this and it again stacks more than one 
the more the merrier. That's always good. And then, yes, the classic, the fantastic questing beast. You know him, you love him, you may hate him, but he's in there to help against Nine Lives Solemnity and the Sarah's Emissary decks. Damage can't be prevented. That's the main draw, but of course, he's just a keyword ability soup. A fantastic card. I like it. And could potentially play him turn three after a turn two Marauding Raptor, so that's always nice. Anger of the Gods. You may have seen it. You've probably seen me use it before. Love it. You might use it yourself. I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Takes out all that stuff. Three or less. It's good. Did move shifting to the sideboard. Recently, I had shifting and ripjaw paired together to start off game one but i felt like lowering the curve with all these three drops wanted to free up space and yeah that's about it all right let's jump into the first match Whew. cross fingers for me okay guess we have to choose a deck interesting Oh, look at that. The deck I wanted to choose was basically at the top. That's hasn't happened, actually. I've had to scroll down quite a few times now just to really find out what I wanted. It's, it's weird how it organizes it. You would think it was the last edited, previously updated deck. Jope Mosa. 